Hello, my fellow Christians. Well, actually, I'm an atheist. But hello to you, too. Your friendly neighborhood atheist here. The music you just heard is by Torture Division, an awesome old-school death metal band to release all their material for free under a Creative Commons license. You can download all of their albums for free at their website, linked below. Today I am responding to a video from a YouTuber called The Bitter End, entitled God is Real, Atheists Are Wrong. The original video is linked below as well. Unfortunately, I have to see that these militant atheists they are becoming more and more day by day, especially here on YouTube. And I think it's time that we as believers, we as Christians, should stand up and tell them, show them, that they ain't right. You know, I think that sounds like a fine idea. After all, it's very easy to show an atheist that he's not right. All you have to do is show him that a god exists. These atheists, they always say, that they don't hate God. I don't. I mean, I can only speak for myself, but I don't think a God exists, and it seems a little strange to hate something you don't think exists. I mean, you don't hate the flying spaghetti monster, do you? And I don't get it. Why? Because God is a message of love. Jesus is a message of love. Hmm. If God is love, then why did he send bears to kill little children? Why did he massacre Egyptian babies? Why does he torture non-believers infinitely more than they deserve? Why did he create AIDS, malaria, syphilis, cholera? But if you take a closer look at the postings they make, the videos they upload, <laughs> you come to the conclusion that they really hate God. Now, I can see how you could think that. I really can. If you really sincerely believe that God exists, then I can see how it would be very easy to start thinking that someone like, say, uh, Dark Matter 2525, who makes all these comedic videos about God for atheists, is really mocking God and hates him. But he doesn't. It would be like you making a comedy video about Santa Claus and a little kid watching it and thinking that you hate Santa Claus. You don't. You just don't think he exists. It's the same way for us atheists. I don't hate God. I just don't think there's a man watching me trying to decide if I'm naughty or nice. It seems that these atheists really don't want the love of God. Again, I simply think he doesn't exist. Or maybe you just don't want the presence of Santa Claus. And they always think they can explain anything with science. <laughs> yeah, they wish they could. But that's not the truth. Correct. Science does not explain everything. They always come up with these crazy ideas, these crazy theories, like the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> like nothing could have come out of nothing. That's not what the Big Bang Theory says. I won't go into great detail about what it actually says. Uh, suffice to say, it's an explanation of the early stages of our universe as we know it now, all the way back to where our understanding of physics breaks down. Our universe's event horizon, if you will. We don't really know what happened before that, or even if there was a before for anything to happen in before that. Some scientists have come up with some interesting ideas, but nothing is really known yet. Check out Lawrence Krauss for a fun introduction to all of this. Links are in the description. And if you take a closer look at the universe, how beautiful and how complex it is, you have to admit there has, there has to be a creator, there has to be a designer. That's a non sequitur. It doesn't follow. I mean, snowflakes are beautiful and complex, but that doesn't in itself imply that they must be designed. Or this other crazy theory, one of the favorite ones, the evolution theory. Like we humans, we are not coming from monkeys. No, we're not. We share a common ancestor with monkeys. They always say, but look at bacteria, there you can see evolution. They're changing all the time. 
And yes, they do, of course. But we've never seen that one species turns into another species. Yes, in fact, we have. Encetina salamanders in America and greenish warblers in China are two great examples of what are known as ring species, that is, when two groups of one species are isolated from one another for a certain period of time, and then their descendants meet back up and they can no longer interbreed, thus constituting different species. There are a couple of links below about speciation if you want to learn more about this kind of thing. But their theory, their evolution theory, like the name already says, it's just a theory. In science, a theory is the highest level of an explanatory hypothesis. A theory has made predictions, verified them, demonstrated that it can in fact be falsified, and yet failed to be falsified, stood the test of time and peer review, and finally has been accepted as the best explanation for a phenomena, just like germ theory or the theory of gravity. And one big fact these atheists always forget is that they are the minority. And we believers, we are the majority. Over 90% of the world's population does believe in a god. Actually, it's closer to 80%. But close enough. And atheists have to admit that they are the minority. And we as the majority... I do. We won't let a minority tell us what we have to do or what we have to believe. That's a good idea. Then again, I don't think a minority should be told what to do or what to believe by a majority. I mean, I'm white, and I'm in a majority, at least in America. So should the white majority have the right to tell a black minority that they have to work for us without pay for their whole lives? I'd say that'd be pretty messed up. So I really think it's time that we believers should unite and stand up and fight these atheists. Of course, not with violence, but with words and reason. If you'd like to convince atheists like me that God exists, then I am all for that. Please do. So, let's hear it. What is your evidence for God? Well, that's it already for my first video. That's it? Oh, that's too bad. Well, it is just your first video. If you'd ever like to give me some evidence for why I should believe in God, I'd be more than happy to consider changing my views. So, I look forward to talking to you in the future. This has been your friendly neighborhood atheist, and until next time, best wishes. Goodbye. Goodbye.